Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to make a quick announcement about my Citrix Level 1 How to Become a Help Desk Champion course is available and it is online at the moment. So I would like to quickly share some details with the community about this. So uh, this particular course is available and it is uh, online on teachable.com. If you see the link, if you know Teachable, just like uh, other platforms like Udemy, uh, Teachable is very good platform, especially if you if someone wants to give give training very closely with the students, or if someone it's like a kind of community basically. You know, you can interact with the trainer. It's not like Udemy where you just post the uh, videos and you know uh, your students will not get a chance to interact closely with the uh, instructor. But on this platform, it's uh, quite close. It's like a it's like an open community where you know you can have like an open conversation and you can share a lot of things and i can also be very open to discuss about my personal citrix experiences or or the challenges or the issues i came across all these things all all these important tips and tricks that i can share about citrix real time environment issues or anything so there are no filters here so that is a thing so so this is the course. It is Citrix Level 1. Become a Help Desk Champion with this course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show like what what exactly is available in this particular course. Okay. So when you click on this, I'll put this link in the uh, video description. So you can, you can also have a look. So when you click the link, it will take you to this screen. Okay. It says uh, be a Citrix L1 Champion. Okay. So to whom this uh, course exactly is for basically this course is for the people who are completely new to citrix okay people who don't have much idea about citrix and maybe they have basic understanding of citrix like they have heard about it or they came across some citrix products or someone was talking about citrix so they are curious and they would like to know they would like to learn citrix basically so what happens is in the uh, market i usually see people you know learning citrix uh, right after they finish uh, you know graduation or something yeah they can straight away go and learn citrix level 2 or level 3 course that's not a problem but the uh, disadvantage of that is if you go straight away to level 2 or level 3 course and if you would like to learn entire citrix uh, components and all these things in a very uh, in-depth manner you will get overwhelmed or you will get uh, uh, stressed at some point in time because you know you have you have never discussed about technology or you have never come across any uh, terminologies like this so when you uh, watch these videos or when you watch when you do some practicals you get overwhelmed very quite easily so what i would like to do is uh, you know uh, you have to go step by step okay it's not just you jump into level 2 or level 3 course if you go step by step especially if you are new to citrix okay especially if you are new to citrix please go step by step so this is citrix level 1 so no matter uh, wherever you are in your life okay maybe you are completely new to citrix you don't know anything and uh, this is the right course for you or you have some experience okay maybe you have three years two years two years or five years experience or seven years experience in some other industry it's not at all citrix but you have experience in some other industry now you want to learn citrix okay so what i would suggest is you can you know if you go to level 2 or level 3 course you will get stressed again so start off with the citrix level 1 course okay it gives you confidence because i explained this in a very easy and understandable manner okay so i haven't uh, you know used difficult terminologies and i use real time examples okay i have brought two characters into this particular course okay you see me as an instructor and also you see me as an end user basically so i talk like an end user okay i'm an end user okay i'm facing this problem okay how what to do now in a span of few seconds i also act like an instructor 
or a person who is troubleshooting the problem okay when user says like this you have to do like this so you know this course will help you to understand better it is more uh, uh, easy and it is quite uh, uh, digestible i should say so see so this is the course so if you are completely new to citrix or if you have a couple of years experience in some other industry and you would like to try Citrix, I would definitely recommend to go with the, this course first. Okay, so this, uh, this I would say this is for beginners. At the same time, I have covered some level two topics as well because at the end of the day, I have to show the complete picture to you. I cannot only show only some part. So I have also shown a little bit of level two as well so that you can connect the dots, okay? So I have explained clearly. So this course uh, is for the people, you know, who are completely new and the ideal candidate for this course interacts with end users to troubleshoot and resolve issues. So working as a Citrix L1 admin, so you get a chance to interact with clients across the globe. Okay, so you work from home mostly and you get a chance to work with clients across the globe and you use Citrix director, this tool like 70 to 80 percent okay you use citrix director to troubleshoot the issues to help the users and to and to monitor the citrix infrastructure okay so these are some things that you will learn okay you will learn how to support end user accessing virtual apps and desktops as part of a citrix solution so what i have done is i have not only okay i have not i have not only uh you know gave information about citrix director i also discussed about the major citrix components in citrix uh, flexcast management architecture and i have also explained right from the beginning like what is citrix and what are the key benefits of citrix like in a very simple words and what are the key components in citrix architecture and what is redundancy what is citrix vda okay which component citrix l1 team would spend on mo spend most time and what is one key tip to be very successful in this role okay what are the citrix level one help us key roles and responsibilities okay this is not like something you find it on internet here it is like i have shared like how, how real time experiences you know how how things work in real time experience okay how what kind of issues you come across how do you need to interact with the users okay what are the challenges you come across okay so in future once you buy this course and once you start learning it once you start giving interviews you can easily connect the dots okay if if the interviewer asks what are the components in citrix uh, architecture then you can come back to okay naresh explained about module in module one uh, second lesson he explained so you can easily talk about it okay and at uh, and and also if you move further okay this is about citrix director so i explained right from the beginning what is Citrix director? How to troubleshoot like an end user and also like an instructor. So it is these are all scenario based. Basically, you see me acting like <laughs> acting in two roles. So uh, how to log off Citrix VDA session, how to reset user profile and uh, how to talk to users, all these things. OK, and I have also it is not only just Citrix director. I have mentioned I have explained basics of citrix and i went to e i went through each and every component as well so it's like uh, you know it's 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 very it's made in a very uh, understandable way okay so this is module 1 this is like module 1 module 2 and if you go to module 3 here comes the troubleshooting this is uh, actually you know very very important when you come across these kind of issues in citrix environment so I have given various scenarios here, scenario one, scenario two, and what happens when Netscale a gateway login failed for a user and Citrix store and no apps or desktops available for a user. So these are the most common issues you get in Citrix environment. So, so in like once you join any organization, let's say if some user is not able to uh, see uh, apps or desktops after logging into Citrix store friend or you can easily come back and watch this video what I have shared in just four to five minutes you know you can just go back to that issue and you can start troubleshooting it okay so this is like a reference guide for you at any point in time and the best part is this is this is about end user access so I have explained about store friend and Netscaler here 
I'm sorry, st uh, storefront and the Netscaler gateway login uh, failed for a user. So these are all scenario based. Now, if you scroll down, this is about Citrix receiver and Citrix workspace app. So I explained about what is Citrix receiver, what is workspace, what is Netscaler gateway plugin, what are the differences, how to install it. Okay, what is Citrix receiver cleanup utility, how to troubleshoot, how to talk to the user, all these things. Now, when you go to module five here, okay, this is the best part. Okay, in, in this course, I usually, you know, I can simply talk about Citrix director and leave it because Citrix director is the tool that you handle most of the time. But I went and explained like, uh, the app and desktop launch issues as well. Okay, Citrix virtual apps and desktop launch issues. These are all scenario based questions. Okay, so you will come across, you know, me talking like a user and also like an administrator. So you will love it. It is quite interactive and you will, you can, you can learn quickly when, you know, when I give some scenario kind of scenario based uh, uh, troubleshooting issues, you can learn quickly. So scenario one, scenario two, scenario, scenario three, scenario four. So, Okay, so these are all the troubleshooting issues in Citrix environment. When you're troubleshooting Citrix virtual apps and desktops, you know, you can follow these uh, articles, actually, not, not articles, follow these videos to troubleshoot the issues. So this is troubleshooting Citrix VDI unregistered. This is troubleshooting Citrix VDI connection interrupted. Okay, so these, uh, these are very, very important and also printing. Okay. So in most of the videos, like no one talks about printing, but I would, I also covered uh printing issues in citrix environment okay this is like a 15 minutes video where you can watch like what are the most common issues you get in citrix environment okay so if you watch this video 15 minutes video you will get idea about the printing and the architecture and how to troubleshoot and you can easily connect the dots when you come across printing issues okay so if you in future if you handle p1 ticket or p2 ticket if you if you get a ticket about printing then you can simply come back and if you watch this 15 minutes video okay you know what is actually happening you can troubleshoot the issue and fix it otherwise you can escalate it to the citrix level 2 team okay so these are some things that i have covered and when it comes to the last part okay these are the interview modules that you know no one shares but i shared it out of my personal interest because you know people come here not only to learn the course they would like to get a job in some organization i know that you have to attend the interviews and also i have given i have shared some very interesting and very important tips and tricks okay and also this is for level one level two level three interview questions and answers so if you uh if you are someone who want to apply for level one then you have this video if you want if you're someone who would like to apply for level two you can watch this video so i am going to add a few more tutorials actually this is out of my personal interest and this is absolutely free for you this is something you know people would charge minimum five to ten thousand i'm saying so this matters a lot okay this 16 minutes video it is very uh, short video but it shares a lot of very interesting tips you know how you need to talk to the interviewer how you need to answer all these things i have shared in this particular video okay so and these are all technical interview questions and answers and i will be adding uh tutorials out of my personal interest because i want you guys to be successful okay so these are some some things that i have covered and this is completely bonus okay this is completely bonus videos that i am adding here so yeah these are the topics that i have covered okay so i i really want people who come across this video to enroll and if i'm sure like i've given my best to uh, cover most of the topics that will be successful for you that will be helpful for you during the time of the interview and also to work in the real time environment these are all real time scenarios okay these are all real time scenarios that you will love it you will under you will get some idea person who doesn't have any idea about citrix when you watch this uh, you know uh, course you'll get some idea and you will start liking it the thing is people who start learning level two and level three topics that is also fine but they get overwhelmed okay they have to go step by step first you need to learn how to you know walk and then you need to know how to uh, jog and then you can start running so that's why you need to go through th these things first okay so what i'm going to do is i have uh, i have one video shared this is uh, you know i left it uh, for public to watch so i'm going to play this video now 
hope it plays one second i'm sorry guys uh, i think there is some technical issue here give me a minute okay in the middle of this i think there is some technical problem uh sit so audio is not working let me let me check services please give me a few minutes guys i need to troubleshoot some <laughs> audio issue here yeah windows audio if you see here so this is the service responsible for audio okay so i am going to start this service let's see how it goes i hope it starts okay seems like it is started uh let's go back to the video once again let's uh let me try to increase the volume hi everyone first of all thank you very much for purchasing this course since you have trusted me and bought this course i would like to say that i am going to try my level best to share all the knowledge that i have learned about citrix in this particular course my only request to you is please uh, do not skip any videos in these sections i have shared a lot of interesting tips and tricks and i have shared a lot of real time scenarios in this uh, particular course so please do not skip any uh, video in this uh, particular course and at any point in time if you come across any interesting point please make a note of it on a piece of paper and also i would like to say that i will be adding a lot of interesting content in this particular course because at the end of the day you need to uh, go and crack the interview so i am going to add a lot of interview based questions and also real time scenarios that interviewers like to ask during the time of the interview so that it will be very easy for you to go and uh, give the interview in a better way okay so please stay tuned and thank you for purchasing this course once again and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye okay guys so i've just played the introduction video so these are the next videos that will come up after that so yes guys so okay this Hi, is everyone. the next video okay so yeah so i have shared everything guys so this is how it looks so once you enroll uh, you will see all these details on the screen so you can watch one after the other so yeah please do not uh, skip any videos please go from module 1 to module 6 and uh, don't skip or don't jump to other module because uh, i don't want you to miss any vital information okay so if you want to you know purchase this course so you can uh, uh click the link okay i am going to mention this link in the uh a course i mean in the video description so you can uh, yeah click this button buy now or you have somewhere i guess at the bottom yes here i guess enroll now or here okay so once you click you will be connected and you can i think you can put your email address and other details to finish the transaction once that is done uh, you will get the details okay so at any point in time uh, if you have any questions or something i have my email address in the about section so you can always contact me and uh, you know i will be able to answer it okay so yes uh, so before i end this video so yeah before purchasing the course these are all the perks that you are getting so citrix interview guide video tips uh, important citrix interview top 100 questions and answers i'm going to add free videos to guide students on how to grow your career so this is like a wonderful community actually it is not just i'm selling the course or something it's like a wonderful community where i'll be sharing all my real time experiences and you know it's like i i should it's like a podcast for you if you listen to it for like you know 15 minutes or something all these videos whenever i share it will be really guiding it will be really helping you actually so these are some things and i'll be sharing tips to the students on how to handle real time issues in the citrix environment 
So yes, uh, so once you um, mention the details and once you finish the transaction, you will get access to the uh, course. All right, uh, I hope uh, I will find you guys in the course and uh, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.